Let's go to Jenny now. Can't wait to see what you're going to do with this one. You've got a fear of slugs and snails. Yes. So when did this start? Um, when my kids were all young, they were out in the garden. And I don't know if it's been brought in by... It's clung to their clothes or whatever. Um, they went in to make their supper and I went through, as you do as a mum, to clean up after them. And I thought somebody had dropped some jam or something on the floor and actually stood on it. And it was a slug. Oh. Okay. Um, with bare feet. OK, so um, obviously I can hear in your voice there just talking about that and telling us that story. You struggle to say the word. Yeah, yeah. And, and we can hear um, sort of the discomfort in your voice, but um, that's again a very common way of, of creating a phobia something happens it doesn't feel great uh, in a moment of, of sort of shock you create a fear but in actuality if we look at that situation jenny um you know you became frightened of slugs but in actuality who in that circumstance came off worse slug <laughs> <laughs> exactly and who caused it and, and who caused the fear of, in the first place who brought the slug in uh, one of the kids. Okay. But who actually stood on it? Me. Okay. So, really, I think what you need to consider in this situation, Jenny, um, is that actually, I think you've got an apology to make because. <laughs> I was thinking that. Because who came off worse? They did. Yeah. They did. And can you feel but, uh, the difference? See, I know, but see, see, even if, like last week, and I'm not telling any lies here, there must have been six out on the path just outside my door. And I had to send my partner out on slug patrol. That's right. To get them before I would even go outside that door. Well, they were probably all terrified. Here's yeah. the slug killer coming down the path. <laughs> just right. coming down, see, see, up until this moment, you've actually blamed slugs for being scary and frightening and for creating a fear in you and making you fearful, where in actuality, um, it was you that stood on the slug and the, oh. the, only, the only thing that happened in that situation was that the poor slug died. Oh. Um, so, to change your perspective and thought, I'd just like you to consider that perhaps um, you, you got it wrong on this situation and that maybe you should start to feel sorry for the slug for, for having stepped on him on that day. I know, they make my skin crawl. Actually well, I don't make think my skin crawl. I mean, I, I don't think anybody. Slugs, like, yeah. I particularly like, and you're never going to love them. I mean, you know, that's not what exactly. you're going to get. To, exactly. But... You've got to have a, a level of, of realism, and the fact is, is that they've got a peculiar texture, etc. But they are more fearful of you. They're never going to come into your house. And in that situation, the children bringing the slug in is what created the fear. The, the slug did what to you? Nothing. Nothing. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Well, Thank well, you, you Jenny. can apply that to Thank so you very many much. things. Thank you so much.